Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my May Ipsy bag reveal. Um, this is one of my favorite videos to do. I know I've only done one of them, but so far it's been a video that I have more views on than some of my other ones. So I enjoy it, y'all enjoy it. So I'm just going to keep going with it. I get Ipsy every month, so I might as well. Um, here's the bag super pretty and glittery um it is getting glitter on my hands but like if you look at it up close it's like all different color glitter so this is actually a really pretty bag and it's got this cute little tassel and the ipsy on the front so this is a fun bag but you probably don't want to like touch it before doing your makeup you might want to go wash your hands because it does have glitter on it I'm sporting a different look today. Yes, I'm wearing my sweatshirt in May. No, it's probably not appropriate attire because it's hot as crap outside. But we're inside, we're filming, so I'm wearing the sweatshirt. And then I'm wearing uh, this headband I got a long time ago from the store Earthbound, which is one of my most favorite stores. So um, we are representing Myrtle Beach, South Carolina today, and Earthbound with the headband. Ooh, and I found my black scrunchie, so it's a fun time. Alright, let's get into the products. I'm not going to look at that because, um, wow, that actually went somewhere. I'm not going to look at that because we're just going to take the products out of the bag and check them out. Um, so today what I'm going to do is we're going to go over the products and then y'all can tell I'm not wearing any makeup so I'm going to use all the makeup products in this bag when doing my makeup. So I'll probably skip through and not do a whole look um, but we're just going to test out the products. So the first one in the top is this Bella Pierre Cosmetics HD Finishing Powder which I really like uh, trying out new powders. Um, especially when, now that I'm uh, trying like wearing the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer it's super drying so using my Cody Airspun powder only makes me look even drier so this will be a fun product to test out then the next product I have is actually already on the back of my hand I started filming this video and my phone just kind of freaked out and didn't save what I had so this is the Nature's Cartel uh, Multi-Purpose Stick. It is um, a Glow Ball Awakening-1 Illuminator. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and then it's just black packaging with white words. So on this hand, I will swatch what it looks like not blended out, and then I'll show you what it looks like blended out on the other hand. So here it is. It's very, um, it's not like, wow, bam highlighter, but that's because we haven't seen it on the face yet, but it's super pretty. It's got that gold champagne, um, almost got that pink look to it. So this will be a fun one to, to use. Um, and then this is what it looks like blended out on my hand. It just has that all over glowiness. So I know it's a cream product. So I'm guessing that I just put it on top of foundation. Um, we'll see. Ooh, my friend got this one in her Ipsy bag and I'm not mad. I love a lip gloss. I told y'all what it is. It's a lip gloss. It's a Huda, it's a Huda Beauty uh, lip strobe. And it is this, it's like a full sized lip product. And it's in the shade Enchanting. Um, the only thing that I'm not a fan of is the fact that it's got that holographic look to it and I don't really have much of a use for a holographic lip gloss. Like I have gotten a holographic like highlighter in my Ipsy before and I've never used it. Um, which is a video idea I considered doing. Would y'all want to see that like Ipsy products that I've gotten and never used? Okay, so that's what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty, but I don't know. We'll see. We're going to try it out. So, got this. That is the Huda Beauty lip gloss. Ooh. 
the next product I got is the <sighs> back to the whole can't pronounce crap thing um gardenia shea butter hand cream made in France this is what this looks like that's kind of cool um I've never gotten a hand cream before I don't think let's smell it and yes I'm having terrible allergies that is why I sound like this um I should probably you know take some Benadryl Claritin what have you so I'm just gonna rub this into the palm of my hand It smells like flowers um that's what a gardenia is a flower so it smells very uh luxurious like something my granny would wear so not like <laughs> my granny uh very classy woman she wears just like super nice perfumes and this is just kind of reminds me of something that she would wear it says it's blended with 20 percent organic shea butter and argan oil to moisture and repair dry skin Ooh. I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of this fast. I have super dry skin, um, other than my face, cause y'all know my face gets pretty oily. Um, but like my hands, my elbows, like my legs, I get terrible dry skin and it's so obnoxious. So this will be a cool product to use. And then the last one, mm. ooh. So this is another product that my friend got in her Ipsy bag. It's the Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask with Super Volcanic Clusters. It looks like this. So the only reason I was like, ooh, is that when she was telling me that she got that, um, she looked up the ingredients because she has super duper uh, sensitive skin so certain masks she can't use because it will give her chemical burns it'll just really have um a negative effect, uh impact on her skin so she has to look at the pro uh, ingredients in all the products that she uses so um i have my macbook right here and we are gonna talk about the ingredient that is apparently controversial right now or has been in the past and I'll go ahead and screen I'll put this up on the screen so the first ingredient is water there's volcanic ash in it um, silica alcohol cellulose um, oh, oh. There it is. Uh, Juglans Regia Walnut Shell Powder. This right here. Um, so this product right here, or this ingredient, shall I say, let's look it up. Because my friend was telling me that um, she quit using uh, the St. Ives like apricot scrub because um, it is apparently not good for your skin. It has, uh, it will create like these minute um, abrasions, um, microscopic abrasions in your skin and uh, I guess like show capillaries underneath your skin um okay there we go let's let's see here Ooh, this is about um the saint ives apricot scrub this is an article saying um that it may be harmful to you So I'm on a beauty whim, uh, it looks like a blog. Oh, cute, she's a Virgo, happily married, mommy of boys. 
My Yorkies are humans too. We stand. <laughs> so this is literally, this is about the St. Ives Fresh Skin, skin Apricot Scrub. And this has that walnut shell um, powder in it. Okay, so um, I'm reading, it says, if you have experienced breakouts when using abrasive exfoliators, such as the Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub, which I used to use a very long time ago, but I have, have not used in a while, like years. It says the product has possibly made you prone to breakouts due to microscopic, microscopic, microscopic? Microscopic, <laughs> why can't I speak? Microscopic tears in the skin from the abrasion. Um, apparently in 2015 of April, it was uh, the number one scrub in America. And she says, it's certainly inexpensive and that should be a big red flag. So let's go deeper. She's going into the ingredients here. Okay, here. The second most concentrated ingredient in the fresh skin apricot scrub, which we do did see that on the Innisfree mask that it was pretty low down in the on the ingredients list. Um it's the Juglans Regia Regia. I'm sorry, y'all know. The walnut shell powder. Um while EWG has rated the walnut shell powder as safe, they also indicated that they had limited data on the ingredient. According to Polish Choice Cosmetic Ingredient Directory, walnut shell powder is not preferred in scrubs because it's impossible to make walnut shell particles smooth. The sharp edges can cause microscopic scrapes and tears in the skin, damaging the skin barrier. This also makes the skin prone to bacteria, which exacerbates blackheads and acne. Ooh, and y'all know a girl don't want no acne. Um, all right, so that's what we know. Um, my friend had told me about it. She was like, I'm not gonna use this. So I wanted to tell y'all about it. See what y'all think. Have you used uh, any products with walnut shell powder? Comment below, tell me if it has had an impact, a negative impact on your skin other than um, creating a smooth layer of skin um, let me know so I'm probably not going to use that immediately I'm probably going to do more research on it but yeah so we got the scrub not the scrub we got the mask the lip gloss these products are probably I don't know I'm going to give this lip gloss a try because first of all the packaging is so nice it just feels like so luxurious and the applicator is really nice I like that a lot and then um, we got the hand cream uh, the illuminating stick and then the Bella Pierre uh, translucent powder so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna put my foundation on and come back to you when I'm doing my concealer so that we can set the face with the Bella Pierre powder all right we have foundation on I used the L'Oreal infallible uh, 16 oh I've been telling people it six, says it's 16 hours it's up to 24 hour fresh wear <laughs> so I just put that on yes I'm in my headband I got it under under there. So, um, I was thinking about the illuminating stick, and now I've never used something like this, so because it's cream, um, assuming you put it on before, um, you put it on before you powder your face. So, we're going to do that as we um, conceal. So what I've been doing is using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer so that I don't have too much dryness from this one. I like the way it brightens um, and I feel like the two of them together look really nice. So.
feel like I got that in my eye. <laughs> sure I'm liking how this blends out at all. I haven't been using it a lot because it does this weird thing when it blends out. I don't understand. Maybe it's my sponge. That's my guess. My guess is that it's because of my sponge. Alright, so we are foundationed concealed. Now we're going to try and use this. I'm assuming I can just put it directly on my face. Y'all are probably like, if this is not how you use it, y'all are probably like, okay, Lakin, what are you doing? So I'm just going to blend this out my fingertip and it really hi I'm Casper <laughs> so sorry okay so it really does create this like natural kind of glow and I really like that I really wish my lighting wouldn't be acting up it's literally because I'm tapping my face that's weird I like this. This is pretty. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't sneeze. Alright. Avoided that sneeze. So now we are going to use the powder because this product's really pretty. Um, I feel like a... Like... Just glowy. Well, what's going on right there? Do, you, do we see this? Blending that in looks like it took off some of the concealer and foundation on my face. What? Oh my god, did we see that? It looks like it's taking that off my face. How is it not doing- oh, is it doing on that side too? Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know, that's weird. Let's just- let's go into this powder. Cute. comes with one of these little puffers. Maybe that's what I'll... Okay. We have one of these stupid little stickers that we, we like because we don't want the powder everywhere when we open it, but we also hate because who the hell can get their fingers in here to peel it out? Look at this. <laughs> what? Okay. okay, there we go. Got it off. So I'm going to put some of this in the lid. And we are going to take my sponge, tap it in, and set my under eyes. It's very fine. It feels super soft. And we are gonna set all the places that I concealed. So y'all know I like to set my entire face, but I don't want to lose this glow. I kind of want to put more of it on. Like that's just really pretty. Okay, so we are testing out the powder. I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back. I'm back, brows are on. Um, I'm starting to think that I just need to get my brows like waxed or something so that they go back to the shape that they had because <laughs> they just don't look good anymore. So, ew, so sorry. Um, 
the powder is still a little bit under there so what I'm gonna do is take a little bit with my brush and just set the rest of my face cute <laughs> um, and wipe from my nose and under my eyes top of my eyes okay so the shine is still there after like patting powder over it so that's cool we're not mad Okay, we are set. Um, I'm liking this powder. It's super duper soft, so that's cool. Um, and they give you a good bit of product in here. I mean, it's not huge. It's not like it's probably full size, but it's enough for me to try it out and see if I really, really like it. Um, so the last product that we have to actually test out from the Ipsy is the lip gloss. Um, I don't want to just go into lip gloss, so I'm going to quickly uh, do the rest of my makeup. I'm probably going to do a little bit of eyeshadow, maybe something... Um, pink and uh, like super like silvery white on the lid so that we can try and make that lip gloss work because I don't want it to be like a, like a fail or anything I don't want it to be a fail or anything so I actually want to try and make it work so just stay tuned okay so I've done the rest of my makeup I used um, Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I used my Tarte uh, Amazonian Clay Blush. Um, Y'all saw the highlight I used. On my eyes, I'm wearing uh, the Tartlet in Bloom with this Winky Luxe Charm Holographic Highlighter because um, I thought it would go with the look really nicely. So that's what I saw on my eyes. I did um, an itty bitty baby wing with uh, that Ico London eyeliner I got that I absolutely love and then I used um, another Ipsy product that I got was the Tarte Man Eater Mascara so now uh, all that's left to do is to test out this lip gloss and see how it looks I'm not gonna put anything on underneath because we just want to see the gloss Okay, so far not bad. Ooh, wow, okay. So, I'm getting very like galactic alien uh, vibes from this. It looks kind of purple on my lips. I don't know if you can see how purple it looks, but it's like, it doesn't look bad. It's definitely not something like a look that I typically go for, but it's cute and I think it looks nice with this eyeshadow. I think if I'd used more of the Winky Lux highlighter as the whole shadow because I actually lay down um, this the shade Funny Girl all over my lid and then added the Winky Lux on the inner corners. Um, so it's all together it's a pretty cute look. Um, the powder's really, really nice. Like, it is so soft and, like, it set my makeup without, um, making me dry. Um, I really like the highlight. I put powder on top of it and I still am just, like, glowing. Um, so I think this highlighter would be nice for a look where if you're doing, like, um, natural dewy makeup I think would look really cute with it I'm sorry I keep looking at myself and not the camera but uh yeah so this is actually a really cute look um if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow my social media uh products from the ipsy uh, that I use will be listed below if you like videos like this go and check out my last ipsy un uh 
um, bagging, reveal, whatever you want to call it, um, and comment below what else you'd like to see. I'm always open to suggestions because I definitely want to be putting content on here that you guys want to see. So I hope you all are having a great day or have, um, you know, have a good one, a good rest of your day whenever you're watching, and um, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.